Hello and welcome back um, and welcome to a new series which I'm going to start. This game is called The Medium. Now I'm really excited for this game actually. I've watched the trailers for it all and it looks different. Um, so I'm really excited to play this game. So let's just get into it and then you'll hopefully see what it's all about. It all starts with a dead girl. This hello food. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Oh, what is she gonna chase me? Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. Okay, so this is the dream she has over and over. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar on the memory. But part of me I could never fully understand. That wasn't the only part. She looked like she was a man. No wonder she people was. used to think it was strange. If they only knew. Ooh, intense. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. It's hard to get used to these hands. <laughs> oh gosh. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. That's a pure leave Room. Oh, hey. Hey, Looks Katie. Like he never. Damn it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Mm. 
Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna feed you now? <laughs> hey. You yeah. told you. Say. Can't do at me. Sure. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Butterflies. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. So is she an orphan? My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I'm such a dork. Secondary thermal bones, cheese. Oh, not something, you know, I suppose as a kid you'd boast about, but. <laughs> um, I can feed you key cat. Looks nourishing. Mmm. That's what I want in my backpack. Here you go. What's your face? <gasps> Glad to hey, see you're still kicking around. See, I look up to Kat. I can't it's believe it's all still here. With U.S. President Bill Clinton, unless that's just Jack. No. Luminate photograph for quite some diplomatic color upgrade for free sounds. Tip in. For three seconds, different fits so for three seconds. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Is that illuminating it? No, oh, okay. So you illuminate to the And two, three. That's the last photo I took of you, Jack. Uh, Shit. Oh, that's cool. Here. Oh, nice. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Do this the other way. Alright. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. There's going to be more to who they are.
We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my tongue. I love that this game. It's a really, really well made game. Interesting on um, the movement and moving about. Like old Resident Jack Evil style. taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Okay, so she is um, a foster parent, I would say. Last advance. It's not bad. Then we have a few of those. So. Gonna investigate everything now. Investigate. Right. Not until we're gonna have to like. Right. This is like they're dead. God, not easy. Very serious there. Look. Never mind. It's been a gruesome is. Oh, okay. Hey, it's just Jack. It's good. Hey, buddy. Nailed. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Am I? Okay, so she's putting on that. Really into it now. But when is the funeral? Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <laughs> <gasps> I don't want to go upstairs. Oh no, don't make me go upstairs. Hello? What the 
guess I felt it too. What the? But you were upstairs. And then it happened. As it did so many times. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. Yeah. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to end it there. I know you're going to hate me for ending it on the right point. That uh, it's been a really, really interesting episode. I thought it took a little while to build into it, but obviously building up the story. But wow, this is, I think this is going to be a good story. But, um, if you've enjoyed so far, thank you.